Frazier Clark versus David Allen, 10 rounds in the heavyweight division. Let's get into it. Let's start with Frazier Clark. Seven wins, no losses, five wins by way of knockout. The 2020 Olympic bronze medalist is back in the ring this weekend for his third time this year, which is great. It's, it's what you want from a young fighter. He's not young in the game from an age standpoint, but young as a professional fighter. Anyone under 10 fights is still new in professional, in the professional setting. But man, Big Phrase came into the scene knocking cats out, knocked out his first opponents within three rounds. Then he steps into the ring with Kamil Sokolowski, a veteran with a whole lot of fights, whole lot of experience. He's lost 28 fights, but in those 28 fights, he's only been stopped four times. So he's durable. I thought that was a good test for Clark. A lot of people were saying, man, he got exposed. He's overrated this and that. And I'm like, man, this is his fourth fight. He's got to grow. You got to give him some grace. He's got to have some growing pains and learn inside of the ring because no matter how many losses a person has, if they've been a, a journeyman, so to speak, and they've been around for a while, you know, they know a little tricks of trade in the fight. You don't learn a whole lot when you knock cats out, man. You know you're powerful, <laughs> but you learn more when you stay into the ring and you stay busy and you get some rounds in. And I thought that was a good fight for him that he needed. Early on, he was facing cats who was afraid of him, but Sokolowski was not afraid of him and he had to learn how to deal with that did he show some weaknesses yeah he did his defense needs work but i think he's a good offensive fighter man good power nice mix of attacks good placement in his punches but it was his first test and a test that he passed in his most recent fight he fought marius watch another guy who was a veteran who had been stopped four times in 47 fights but he's 137 this is a guy who fought dillian white and dillian white didn't stop him right and he fought one of the klitschko brothers I think it was Vladimir Klitschko. And not to mention, yo, the man is big. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's a big man. And I thought Clark fought a control fight, right? The punch placement was nice. I expected him to win the early rounds because he's just in better shape. He's faster. He's quicker, more athletic, right? But I wanted to see as the fight went on, would he slow down? What would his output look like? What would energy be like? What would he start to think if he realized I can't stop my opponent? Do I try and force the fight or do I still let the fight come to me? And do I still work on my stuff, my game plan, my skills? And do I make sure that I am not trying to force the fight that I put myself in a position that I don't need to be in? And I thought as the fight went on, I was waiting to see how he would respond. But Clark looked good, man. His conditioning was solid and he continued to hit the body and make it a target. He let off a nice combination in the ninth and the 10th round that almost wobbled watch, right? But I thought Clark finished the fight strong and he needed those rounds, man. And he did some good work in the last round as well, too. He never neglected the body and he kept working his spot. So we'll see what he can do this weekend. We'll see what he's going to continue to improve on. And, you know, he's fighting another veteran who's a little bit younger, I think younger than him, but yeah, it's going to be a good matchup, man. So let's talk about his opponent, David Al. 21 wins, 5 losses, 2 draws, 18 wins by way of knockout. David Allen fought Dillian White and Lois King Kong Ortiz back in 2015 or 16. One of those two. In the last three fights that he has lost, he has been stopped. But he's on a four-fight win streak, a four-fight knockout streak. So you know he's feeling good. He's feeling confident. He's trusting in the power, knows that he can take this guy out. You have to believe that. Allen has a good jab, man. He can move a little bit. He's got a nice pop to him. Moves his head on and off the line. He's a little bit inconsistent in that category, right? Nice high guard, nice right hand. Not the quickest feet, but he's a heavyweight. I don't expect those guys to be moving like that anyway. But he's a tough cat, man. He's going to come in and fight as long as he's standing. You know, he's going to put himself in the best position that he can to win the fight. You know, when he fought Lucas Brown, even though he got the win that fight, he was getting touched up, right, with the jab and the hooks and the uppercuts were getting through consistently. But he's a good counter puncher, right? He's quicker to retaliate than he looks. He took Lucas Brown out with a beautifully timed body shot with exceptional power and he was able to close out the show man Allen's placement is very well 
timed and placed when it comes to targeting the body, which could be a problem. You know what I'm saying? Anytime that you are exceptional with going to the body, man, you always have an opportunity to surprise your opponent and to hit him with a shot that could get him out of there because they're not always expecting to be hit to the body. You know, is heavyweights. Everybody wants to knock each other out and just go straight for the chin. In his last fight, he fought Michael Bassett, where I mean, he completely dominated that fight. That fight was like a minute and a half long of just punishment. But this is going to be a much tougher opponent than Bassett, man. So who wins? I think this is going to be a nice heavyweight bout, man. Allen could shock Frazier. I like how he targets the body. He generates a good amount of power from in close. But I think Clark has more ways to win this fight than Allen does. The good thing is that Fletcher Clark, man, he will have more opportunities to land his big shots than his last opponent because his last opponent didn't take a whole lot of risk. He was very defensive, very conservative, but Allen will take those risks. And the more risk that you take, the more you kind of leave yourself open to being hit. I think the uppercuts will be there for Clark if he can line it up correctly. It could be the shot that closes out the show, but he's got to be careful when he does throw defensively, he can't watch his work. He's got to get back defensively because this has the potential to be an upset if Frazier comes in recklessly and he's not careful. But I think Frazier Clark's going to get it done, man. I think he's going to get it done by way of stoppage. What are your thoughts on this fight? Who do you have winning this one? Let me know in the comment section below. If you would like to support the channel, there's a couple ways you can do so. You can like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to support by way of donation, you can find options in the description below. Also, my Cash App handle will be on screen as well. Any amount goes towards the growth of this channel and it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. We've got a membership section going on the channel. Don't always get to do all the suggested videos you guys suggest in the comment section below. But if you become a member, those suggested videos rise to the top and I will do my best to get those done for you that week or... If you would like to become a member just to support the channel, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated as well. Shout out to everybody that continues to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate each of you. So with all that being said, if you've been watching the video this time, do me a favor and subscribe to the channel, and we'll definitely see you next time.